Today I am releasing my latest audit of PennDOT. We are here specifically overlooking the Market Street Bridge in Harrisburg because the west shore span of the bridge that carries 13,000 vehicles a day is one of the 2,829 structurally deficient state-owned bridges in Pennsylvania. Over the past six years, $4.2 billion was diverted from repairing roads and bridges. My auditors found that transfers to state police from the Motor License Fund totaled more than $4.25 billion in the past six years. That is money that PennDOT could otherwise have been used to address a growing list of repairs needed across the state, including those 2,829 structurally deficient state-owned bridges. Our bridges average over 50 years in age. That is beyond what they were designed to last. If PennDOT could use all that gas tax money for roads and bridges, we could get the number of structurally deficient bridges close to zero in about five years. And I say close to zero because every year bridges get added to the list. The state police need to be funded and there needs to be a solution for that funding source from the General Assembly when these local police departments are eliminated and state police has to do that coverage but that should not be coming out of the Motor License Fund. It should be going to these structured defensive bridges and also critical other projects across our great, great Commonwealth. With the release of this report, there's even more evidence of the urgent need for sustainable transportation funding in Pennsylvania and the importance of investing in our transportation network. In fact, Governor Wolf has proposed a per capita sliding scale fee for municipalities that would help address the state police funding issue. Let me remind you that Pennsylvania has the fifth largest state maintained road system and the third largest state maintained bridge system in the nation. The Commonwealth system is far larger than any of our surrounding states and in fact it's comparable to the size of New York, New Jersey and all the New England states combined.